Hey guys, I just wanted to let everyone know that I'm going to be starting a diorama uh, soon. So, uh, if the quality looks different, it's because I'm filming with a camcorder and I plan to have this video very long. Uh, so, everybody knows the longer the video, the bigger the file. And uh, with a camcorder, at least this one, uh, like a 10 minute video will only be like 100 megabyte or so, so it's quicker to upload. Um, but this is my old uh, DHS diorama that I had at the 2008, no, uh, at the 2009 open house. If anyone did see it in person, I know like uh, the Bronos did, and a few others, but uh, like I, I did a little uh, work to it here. But as you can tell, I just have some of my tools like that I only use for dioramas and stuff in it because I plan on doing something different uh, tomorrow. I, tomorrow meaning Monday, I have the week off, so I plan on working on it. Uh, I'm gonna get all the, I'm got like, I would like half the materials, like trees and grass, and not uh, like the rest of the plaster and stuff. It came to like, actually, it came to a hundred flat, and that's like about half of the stuff. But, uh, I just, I gotta clean all this out over here. Uh, just get all the loose stuff out, like the styrofoam. You can see I have one or two models in here just to give it its look. Uh, what I wanted to do was make like a foundation. Like if anyone saw my 345 seal video recently. Kind of like that. But I didn't. I plan on doing something else. So, uh, yeah. But uh, I'll just set the tripod up here. The styrofoam I just used for the underbase to get a shape, and then I cover it in plaster. Uh, what I did order was the, uh, the reason why I got the glove on is because I cut myself and I don't feel like going upstairs to get a band aid because it's not really bleeding, but I just don't want to get any of this junk in, kind of get it infected and just stuff like that. But uh, it just gives it its base, then I cover it in plast plaster. Uh, what I used to do was, uh, once it's covered in plaster, just take a uh, cheap flat black paint and just cover it so it, it darkens it. When you add your, your ground cover, it uh, you won't really see any of the, the white if anyone has a problem with that. But what I ordered was a plaster cloth. I heard they weren't good, but I looked up reviews. And uh, if you know how to use it, like if you use it with a, a spray bottle, uh, it will turn out good. So. Uh, I'm gonna see how that goes. But like, you see all this junk? That's that was just from the the old diorama. Uh, I'm gonna take down if if you can see these side walls too. But um, like that I don't need that. I am gonna save a little bit of this and I'm gonna chop it up to to use it for rocks. So I'm basically just gonna recycle. Uh, the old diorama. That that's what I do most of the time, if I'm able to. But like this piece, I'll see that piece. Piece is too big. But I figured that I would make this video because what I want to do is I want to show you each step by step process. Because it it is it's cool. It's uh fun to follow a diorama uh, step by step. But, I mean, if you really want to make a, a good diorama, you gotta really design it out. I've honestly been designing and planning this, not just to, to design like the, the layout, but just of what I'm gonna use for around a month and a half now. And, uh, I, I had a design and then I changed it. So I keep going back and forth, but I finally found one that I'm going to stick with. So, uh, that's just what I'm going to do. But, uh, it's always hard for me to, uh, choose. That was a piece of plaster. It's always hard for me to choose what I want to do. I'm sure some of you know what I mean. 
Like, uh, it, it's hard to choose what type of site you want to do, because what you want to do is simulate a real site. You don't just, of course, you know, like, I always just go by what looks best, and most of the time that does work, but you want to simulate if it was, like, a real site. So, uh, that's what I, I always uh, look at the past pictures, I see what they use, uh, how they do the stuff, the machines they use. So, uh, especially, the big thing is, is the landscape. Uh, a great tip that someone gave me, when you lay down grass, if anyone, say you get, uh, like, grass that's, it's hunter green, mix it with light, with lighter green. What I do is, I'll get two bags of hunter green, and one bag of lighter green, and I'll mix it. So it's two parts hunter to one part whatever lighter, whatever color that may be. And it, it gives it a more realistic look. Uh, that, that was a really good tip that was uh, given to me by a friend. And also, what you want to do is, like a lot of people, they'll just put dirt in a box in their models. Which, it doesn't really always look so good. So you want to add more, more effects. Trees and grass always makes it look good. The people make it look good too. A lot of people just listen to the video too. Uh, what can I use? I'm just really using whatever I got here to clean this up. And then what I'll do is I'll come in with a shop vac and just uh, vacuum it all off. This dirt right here, it's going to get covered anyway. Now, diorama, you always want to have terrain. You never really want to keep it flat, except for some areas. Is the flat, uh, the earth is really never flat in some areas. Now, with the styrofoam, I, like over here, I just chopped it down. I didn't really uh, put too much work into it, as you could tell, but... Uh, the, the cliffs and ledges always works good, as if they were excavating it. Uh, Plaster Paris, I love to use, because you, uh, you could shape it real well. Uh, I always get the one that dries in 30 minutes, mainly just because uh, it's easier to work with and to shape. And realistically, it, it dries in like 20 minutes or so, it's easy to work with. But, uh, here's down here, you can see, that wasn't level, I'm sorry, but, then I, I just added that there, you can see here, they're excavating here, and I gotta take, the, I was trying to chop this, but that's so thick, it's, it's, it's real thick, there's so one of these pieces right here. If you look, it actually, that's not styrofoam, it, it formed the, uh, the styrofoam. But you could actually, you could even just go outside and just, it's not going to look as real because it won't be to scale, but you can find rock outside, and, uh, you might be able to find grass, but I wouldn't count on it. Uh, I'm going to take down this wall. 
Uh, now we'll continue. I'm just gonna take this, these back panels off. Just, cause it, I, I don't need them there. I had it here because, because I did have real dirt in here at the time, but I don't plan on putting real dirt in here. Cause it just, uh, it takes away from the models and it, it just wrecks them. Just even just from sitting in them. I'm just gonna take this one out. Uh, to give the illusion of that, it looks better. Not better, uh, bigger. But I'm just gonna take uh, that one out. Just, I don't, I don't want to take that other one out. Just temporarily before I vacuum it out. But uh, pretty much there, you can. Just get an idea of what it's gonna be. Now, tomorrow when I get everything, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, first thing that I'm gonna be doing is I'm just going to uh, like I said. I'm sorry if it's uh, the camera was crooked that whole time. But what I'm just gonna do is first I'm gonna take the plaster cloth and cover this in plaster right here because uh, like you see over here it. It flows like you don't see these ledges. The this is under there, so I just covered it in plaster. So I'm gonna cover that in plaster, and then uh, I don't know if I'll show it on camera here, but what I'm gonna do is I'm I'm gonna make ledges here, so it just it doesn't look so uh, man-made, and then I'm gonna cover that in plaster. Uh, I'll probably just throw one of these over here to give it the uh, so it doesn't look flat. Once that done, once that's done, I'll uh, what I want to do is uh, cover it in uh, the dirt. And once it dirts down, put put the grass before I put the dirt. Uh, I'll probably do the trees, but I'll show you that all of it in a video. So, uh, I'll make, uh, videos, this will be day one, tomorrow will be day two. Uh, I'll probably get a lot done tomorrow. I don't plan on having this done soon, because there's a lot more to put in a dial, rather than just, uh, dirt, trees, grass, and machines. Like, uh, there's just, there's a lot more of this stuff to put in it. Uh. But uh, what I'm gonna probably do is take that down a little, and then I uh, I would have liked to build I would have liked to build an arch bridge, but it would have to be higher up more. But I want to build a you don't really have to build anything, but I want to build a bridge stretching from here to there, and then just make the road go by over there. I don't know if you saw, but over there, we start the footings over here and over here, and then put another one in the center, and then get a crane up there and place the the beams in and the roadway sections. Uh, that that's what I'm looking to do, really. 
Uh, I plan on this one being a long-term dial. But, uh, that's really all that I have planned for it. Of course, it'll, it'll be more than that, than just, you know, making the, the footings and stuff. But I, I do plan on doing some other stuff that you'll see. But, uh, I mean, that's pretty much it. So I hope you liked it. Tomorrow, I will have up the unboxing of all the um, materials, all the materials that I ordered for that order. And then, uh... I'll show you the rest. And uh, people ask for a collection video. I have that. I just have to upload it. So I'll upload it this week. So uh, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll keep everyone updated. Uh, last clip of Mad Men. It's going to be quick. Uh, what I did was. Uh, I just added this. You can see here. The uh, steps here. It's going to be a ramp. Just to come down from up there. A little ramp, not really for trucks or anything, mainly just for a track loader or a loader, something small. And uh, you can see here, I just I took everything out. Uh, all this junk on the ground here, I'm gonna leave that there. It'll give it some uh, terrain, uh, just right here. Uh, once I put the plaster cloth on here and uh, over there, I'm sure I'm gonna have some left, so I'll just lay it on the floor here. And I'll be good there. So uh, I just wanted to show you what I did. But uh, it's ready. So I could just come down here tomorrow and get working.